Guys, I really want my eyebrow pierced. Oh. Oh, so now I need a new tripod. Cool. Anyways, I really want my eyebrow pierced. I want my eyebrow pierced so bad. I have wanted it done for years. And I finally was like, I'm going to speak it into existence. Because it's, you know, it's not something that I like have told anyone. Because it just never gets brought up. But I, I was like, husband's of mine. I want my eyebrow pierced. I want to look like I did in high school, I suppose. And he was like, go ahead and book the appointment. <coughs> Call? Pick up my phone and dial the number and call and speak to a person? A people? No, 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 no. But I really want it done. I really want it done. Like, I did so well when I called the doctor the other day. And I made an appointment about my uterus trying to kill me. I have, haven't I given enough, you know? But the good news is the two best places in this entire fucking area to get pierced are right here. The one was like... 20 minutes away and then there was like this messy divorce or some shit so now they're up the street from me they're on the same street as me and then the other one's like a block away but i have to call i have to call these people and speak to them and like i hate like listen i know that there's like a difference in calling and asking about the price of a tattoo because that that's we won't get into that but like, I feel stupid and silly if I call and I'm like, so how much does it cost for me to get my eyebrow pierced? Because I'm doing it one way or another. I just need to make sure that I have the cash for it, you know? And it's not, it's, I, I'm just nervous. I'm just nervous. I haven't gotten a piercing in a really long time. I used to have a lot of piercings on my face. And then a couple of years ago when I got married, I took them out. And ended up falling asleep on my wedding night and couldn't get most of them back in. My nose is still pierced. I still have my nose pierced. But like my septum and then like the other side, they all grew over. So I haven't had a needle shoved in my face in a really long time. And that's not the part that I'm like nervous about. I ultimately low key, high key, don't give a fuck about that. I'm just nervous about the fact that I have to call a place and talk to the piercers, even though I have been pierced by and been in the room when they were piercing other people, the, the two people that could potentially be piercing me. Why am I overthinking so much? Why am I so scared? There are times that I wish that I had a relationship with my mother, like right now. Like right now, I wish I could call her and say, could you make an appointment for me to get a needle shoved through my eyebrow? So I'm, my, I'm nervous because I don't hardly have any eyebrows. Everybody seems to think I have blonde eyebrows. I don't. I don't have blonde eyebrows. I have brown eyebrows, but they just, they're not there. They don't exist. But I think it's like the muscle that they like. Or like the meaty part. You know what I mean? The fucking meaty part. That they, that they, that they pierce. But I'm also afraid that like, however they pierce it is going to like dictate how I can draw my brows on. Because I swing wildly with the shapes that I like. And I, I, ugh. I don't know. Am I just making excuses? Am I just making excuses? Because I also have the fear of like working in a kitchen and like sweat and lotion and hair and stuff, getting in a fresh piercing and like it getting caught on my hat at work. Am I just talking myself out of this? I don't want to talk myself out of it. I want to do it. And you know what? If it gets infected or something happens, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it we have to we have to think like my fully grown adult husband let's not panic about things that haven't happened yet right but also it's probably very adult like to worry about things that could potentially happen i think i'm spiraling so the one up the street has a website there's an appointment available today so i'm too scared I'm scared. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? So 
I showered and I brushed my teeth. So actually let's change out of this shirt into something else. Okay, that's better. I assume that I shouldn't have any makeup on. I'm making the very adult assumption that I am not supposed to wear makeup. Cause like every time I've ever gotten a piercing, they've had to just wipe my makeup off anyway. And like anytime that I get my face tattooed, they're like, don't wear makeup. Like don't even do half your face. So I assume this is gonna be about the same. I'm just making an educated guess. That's kind of the same as assuming, yeah? I am going by myself because my husband is on the clock. My sister is my sister. Don't ever spring shit on her. Don't ever ask her to last minute do anything. No, she needs a week to plan. And then it's still about 95% she's going to cancel on you. And I don't blame her for that. She is my sister. We, we, we have the same genes. We were raised by the same woman, you know, baked in birth from the same womb. I never hold it against her. And I don't have any friends. So we're going to go do this by ourselves. <laughs> also, yes, I did put some eyeliner on, but I didn't put any foundation or powder or lotion or anything like that on. And obviously, I didn't feel my fill, feel, fill my brows. Um, and by the time you see this, it'll be too late for you to bitch at me. It'll be too late. Oh, she's swollen. Like she's swollen, swollen, swollen. Like she's swollen. <laughs> she's meaty swollen. If anybody has any kind of advice on sleeping with this, I would very much appreciate it because I have not had my eyebrow pierced in a solid 18 years. She's swollen though. Like she's swollen, swollen, swollen. So like with most piercings, worst part is the clamps. Didn't really feel the needle. Look at, look, my whole fort, like, right here is misshapen. Good deal. Good bet. Woo. I'm sorry about the sound of my AC. It's just abnormally warm in my house. And it's not even just me. It's not even just me having hot flashes. Even my husband said it's hot in here. But I did confide in him uh, when I got there that I had, like, three or four days where I had a really bad, like impacted well two bad impacted wisdom teeth and a swollen lymph node for it and uh he was like yeah but do you currently like is that happening right now and i was like no and he's like you're fine so i did word vomit uh, uh, feeling guilty about that he was like we have women come in here that try to hide that they're pregnant or they just don't tell us that they're pregnant so that they can get tattooed and pierced and you feel bad that you had a sore mouth for a few days yes I can't help it. I can't choose what my brain feels bad about. If I could, I would probably be a much happier person. 